Hey everyone, welcome again on the Tag. And in this video, we are going to work on the backend side of the chat app development. Remember, in the last video, I told you that we are going to work on the call page, but that was the UI part. But I'm going to start a series of the video where we are going to work on the image sharing one to one from the one user to another user, PDF sharing from one user to another user, also looking at action sharing from one user to another user. But in this video, we are going to first create an API for the sharing image and then we will going to integrate that API on our chat app. So please watch the video very carefully and also don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and share the video to your friend. I know I'm uploading video very late, but please support me to help me to grow this channel. Okay, so let's start. So like we are working with the image right so to work with the image on a node.js we use a multer package so first thing i'm going to use is npm install multer and we are going to use the multer to work with the images and i think that will going to add here just after the installation till that what i'm going to do that so multer is installed so till that what i'm going to do that i'm going to create a new file that will be a routes dot js where we are going to specify the route of the uploading image api so as we are using the express js so let me first create a object of the express js with the help of the require express remember we already installed the express js and uh, the second thing is we have to create a router object from the express js Okay, type of mistake with the help of the express dot router. With the help of the that router, we are going to call the patch HTTP request. So if you don't know about the HTTP request, then you can go on a description and find the link of the all the HTTP requests also. And we have to use the multer, right? So let me install. I mean, let me create an object of the multer as well. So with help of the multer only, we are going to create the, I mean, we are going to get the image from the Flutter app to our backend. Okay. So let me create an instance of the multer as well. So this thing is completed. Now let's work on the API. So I'm going to use the router and in the router, we are going to call the patch request and the patch request, we have to provide the API name that what will be our api name so before the patch what i'm going to use the route so in a route we have to specify the api endpoint so i'm going to use a api endpoints as a slash add images and we have to call this api endpoint in our flutter chat app at the time of uploading the image so here inside the patch request we have to use the request and response as we use in all our videos on our blog app that this patch request will call back uh, another method that will going to return a response and we will get a request as a parameter now we don't have to use this patch request we have to use the post request because we are creating the image at the first time so let me rectify it now i'm going to create a multer object over here that will be a cons upload so here i'm going to use the multer so in a multer we have to provide a, a object the, and uh, the first object of the multer is the storage okay so we have to provide the storage so inside the storage what we have to provide so let me create a storage uh, object as well so so one by one you will going to know that how we can create that so we have to provide the storage object to our multer and uh, in a storage we have the two things so with help of multer dot this storage we are going to create this storage object and here we have the two things the first thing we have is the destination where we need to store the image so where we wanted to store the image that destination we have to specify over here so basically it is return a method okay so it will going to return a method 
and in the method we will get three property the first thing is the request the request we will get here that will be passed over here second thing is the file the file we will upload from flutter app that will come here and second thing is the callback and we need this callback only so in the callback what we are going to do that in the callback this is another method okay so in the callback what we have to do we have to specify the two things the first thing is null obviously and the second thing is the directory where we wanted to store the image so the first parameter i'm going to provide the null and the second parameter will be a uh, destination directory where i wanted to store the image so i'm going to store my image on my uploads folder so here i wanted to store the image okay so i have to create this uploads folder here only because i specify the relative path and in a relative path you can see that we are using the dot slash so we have to specify i mean we have to create the directory in the same space where we have the routes.js so here i'm going to create a new folder that is a uploads folder in a uploads folder we are going to store the image that we will get from the flutter app okay so now we added the destination on the storage so the first thing was completed like we provided the destination path where we wanted to store the image but what will be the image name that also we have to provide so the second parameter is the file name and uh, in a file name what we have to do like here it is a object so we have to use this comma separated thing so the second parameter is the file name so in a file name what we have to do that again we are going to get a three thing request file and uh, and the callback again we have to use the callback function only it's also a method so in a method we have to return a callback the first parameter as usual null but second parameter we have to provide the file name so what will be the file name suppose we are uploading the video from the flutter app to this server so all the time we have to create a unique name of our image with help of that unique name only we are going to get that image on our flutter app so so for the unique name purpose i'm going to use the date time dot now so with help of that date time dot now all the time i will get a unique name so basically this date time dot now will generate a unique stamp stamp that will always be a unique okay and this will be our file name and we have to provide the extension as well that this is a jpg image or a png image so that thing also we have to provide so i am going to use a jpg so basically it will be a kind of like this a timestamp value timestamp value will be on a int dot jpg so this will be our file name now we provided the destination and the file name now it's time to use this storage variable over here on our multi object now also you can limit the size of the image but i am not limiting the size of the image but everything is good okay so this thing is provided by the multi and with help of the multi we are controlling the file type of data from the any flutter app or web to our backend server so we have to use this upload variable or upload object just before this request and response thing we have to use this upload okay and as of now we are going to upload a single image from the front end to the back end so i'm going using the this single and also we have to specify a key with help of that key we are going to get it like if i am going to provide the img as a key so at the time of sending the image from the front end to the back end we have to use this img as a key and the image parameter okay so i'm going to show you this thing on postman in a live so you can get a clear idea then later we will going to integrate this thing on our flutter app now all the thing we specified over here now what we have to do that we have to 
return a response from here now we are getting a request i mean we are getting a request from the flutter app to here now we have to send something to the flutter app so we are going to send a path of the image to a flutter app okay so i'm going to use the try and catch a block so any exception if we get i'm going to return a response dot json okay and i'm going to return a error message so the e i'm getting over here that will that thing i'm going to return so this is when we get any kind of exception only so we don't need to bother about it but here in a type block what we have to do that we have to use the response dot json and we have to return a object with the path that will be a path of the image and the how we will get this path of this image which we are going to upload on uploads folder so to do that we can get it using the file dot file name okay so this thing we are going to get and uh, apart from that now we just have to test it so let me just hit the save and run the development server and let's test it on our postman so i'm running the development server so that development server is started on port number 5000 because in index.js we specified that start on a port number 5000 and one thing we have to do that before we will use this route.js we have to specify the routes from the index.js and how we will do it to do that thing what we have to do that we have to go on index.js and here only i'm going to create the route of it so i'm going to use the cons and routes so basically in the routes variable we are going to import the file of routes so dot slash routes and using the app dot huge we are going to route from the localhost colon 5000 slash routes to that specific file so just after localhost colon 5000 all the file will be i mean all the api thing will be going to route it on this route.js file let me hit the save and let's go on our postman and let's check that everything is working fine or not here we are getting an issue that router dot huge okay the la the last thing is that we have to export it using the modules dot export okay so here we have to export the router object which we created over here and uh, now the error will be solved i guess okay now the error is solved and we can check that it is working fine or not so let me go on a postman first and in a postman what we have to do that here i've created a new collection i'm going to add a request and this request will be a post request and here i have to use the http colon slash slash localhost because we are running the server on our localhost slash the routes the routes is this routes and after this route we have to go on the routes.js and the endpoint name that is a slash add image okay slash add image okay and uh, here we have to send an image to test it that is working fine or not so we have to go on a body and in a body go on a form data and in a form data if you go here we are using this img as a key so we have to provide this key over here so same key we are going to use on a flutter app as well and here we will get an option so here we have to select as a file and from here you can select any file so i am going to 
select any file from here open and after that I'm going to send it so if everything will work fine then we will get a response from the server so here we are getting a error okay and error we don't have anything so let's go on the VS code and see why we are getting this error so the error is because this thing we have to use the request dot file because file is already not created so we have to use the request dot file dot file name because of this try and catch it we are not able to see the error and let me go here and let's hit the send again and see that we are getting the response or not so here you can see that we are getting a path of the image so which means everything is working fine so in upload folder we have one image if i will click on that image then you will find okay we got that image so this image just a dummy image for my another video so just don't bother about that so basically in this video we achieve that we can send a image from the postman to the our chat server we are going to use the same routes.js i mean this api the api we have in a postman in our chat app to send the image from the one user to another user let's work on that thing on our next video till that don't forget to subscribe the channel and don't forget to share and like the video thank you all happy coding see you on our next video